Grilling. Yeah. Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we're at the World Pork Expo. We're in hog heaven, and we're with a bunch of swine folks here, and we're going to do some outdoor grilling like they wouldn't believe. Pork on the grill, man. Pork today. on the grill, man. <laughs> you better believe it. Louisiana Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Brought to you by Louisiana Grills and Smokers, Pit Boss Grills, America's Pork Producers, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Cherry Delight, Shooting Star Casino, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. I'll tell you what, we're having a wonderful time at the World Pork Expo in Des Moines, Iowa. Yes, it's another road trip with Mad Dog and Merrill. Yes, And we sir. couldn't be happier to be here, right? Oh, we could. Freddie, we're in hog heaven. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. <laughs> and what a swine group we have over here. <laughs> very good, very good. I don't know, Freddy, why would you say that? You fit right in good with this group, I'll tell you, Freddie. Well, we came a long way, you know that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you mean driving wise or ever since we started? <laughs> the whole trip has been a long trip. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, as we travel along here today, we invite everybody to, uh, to check out pork.org, pork.org. And uh, we'd like to thank the America's uh, uh, pork producers. Uh, you know, we have, we have a, a nice little Midwest group of, yes, of pork do. producers yep. that got together, that brought us here to the, to the World Pork Expo. Uh, the folks in, in uh, Minnesota, the folks in Michigan, the folks in Missouri. Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and last but not least, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> Did you tell them what town we're in? We're in Des Moines, Iowa. Yes, we are. Uh, yes, we are. We love Des Moines, Iowa. Do you know who was born in Des Moines? Tell me. I was hoping somebody. <laughs> you know everybody. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. uh, so, so who doesn't love pork? And you know what? When Merrill and I started 42 years ago, when we started 42 years ago, there was like one bratwurst in this world, and that was it. Right. And now exactly. you go to those local butchers, and God love the local butchers, aren't they great? Yes. They exactly. got like they got like 60 different bratwurst of all different flavors. <laughs> right. They got them smoked. They got them fresh. They got them in a huge ring with skewers on them. They're absolutely phenomenal. Yes. And who wouldn't love a, a harvested cut of meat that you can get about 20 different cuts of meat from it? I Unbelievable. know. Freddie, good. what's your favorite pe uh, chunk of pork? Well, you know, I am actually a rib guy. He you is. know that. We and were in, we were in Bagley, Minnesota last week. Bagley, Minnesota, way up in God's country. And we had to hose Freddie down. <laughs> he, had, he had barbecue sauce and racks of ribs all over his uh, He was smiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, today we're going to honor the good folks at the state fairs. Right. And I'll tell you what, every, every state that I just named, all, they all have a state fair. The pork producers are all at the state fair. And if we don't start and keep attending them, if we don't keep attending them and supporting them, uh, uh, it, uh, it, it, we, we just have to do it. You got to do don't it. Want it to be a past tense. <laughs> no. it's, 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 well, it's I a fun thing. It's a lot of people that have never been to a state fair. It's you know? phenomenal. Listen, we're it's at the great. state fairgrounds in Des Moines. Yep. <laughs> so, so uh, we're going to kind of pinpoint things. By the way, the good folks in in Iowa here, and we're in Iowa, at the state fair, they call the, they have a bacon buddies. Okay. Bacon buddies. Isn't that the good. greatest concept in the world? They bacon take buddies. they take ha handicapped young adults who would never be able to uh, 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 show a pig, show a hog, and, and, they, and, they, and they put them in the ring and they help them show a hog or show a pig. Oh, that's and, awesome. Isn't that great? I it love it. That's great. Tears Good for to my eyes. Yeah, yeah, I know. So the uh, Wisconsin <laughs> State Fair and apparently some other ones are taking on that same great role, idea. which is just phenomenal. Okay. So anyway, at the Wisconsin State Fair, they do a, a bratwurst burger, and we're going to do a brat burger, a brat patty here today. Right. So okay. we've, we've got about, I'd say, a good uh, uh, three and a half to four pounds of ground pork. Ground pork, the most versatile cut of meat in the dang world. Yep. You can do just about anything from fajitas to meatballs to, meat to, to burgers to, to tacos. You, you got it all right here in a little bundle, let me tell you that. Uh, and we're going to start out with just a little bit of hot sauce on top of there. Uh, and, yeah, but it's not, oh, it's, it's just, on, it's, Freddy, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, Freddie. <laughs> Jeez, get over it. Now, I was looking up recipes for, for doing bratwurst okay. with spices. And we're gonna, we're gonna overdo things because we want flavor. Uh, right. This happens to be nutmeg. Okay. There always seems to be nutmeg when it comes to doing. Oh, look at that. I know. I'd say we're overdoing things. Uh, coriander. We're not and, done yet. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> coriander, and we're gonna add a whole slew of coriander. I want to taste the flavor when we're done. <laughs> we got dried rosemary. 
So I'm keeping right. the packets. I know dried rosemary goes in most of the bratwurst. I know, I know, I know. We're over doing things. Done yet. That's TV. <laughs> uh, we got ground mustard. Yeah, ground mustard, right? Put it all on. Yeah, they're okay with the ground mustard. I don't get that. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of celery salt, celery salt. We won't do too much. You know what I'm talking about? And, and uh, some recipes call for ginger. Aww. Ginger. I love ginger, man. Said that before. Right? That's right. And this is, this is a mixture where we're just going to now normally. Huh? It's like a therapy program. Yeah. You know, <laughs> People look, he looks all relaxed already, doesn't Some he? Like you know, a stress ball. I like brat burgers because I'm not quite, I'm, I'm kind of a city slicker. I don't understand natural casings. So we got our, our pit boss griddle fired up. I'm going to make these into nice little patties, and we're going to do a sauerkraut topping with those. You better believe it. I love sauerkraut. Yeah. No. Oh, do you have it. sauerkraut in Iowa? Yeah. No. Okay. okay. Look at that, baby. Let's create a mess here, too. All right, I'm going to sweeten this up first off with some brown sugar. Ah. A lot of brown sugar to put on there, okay? Mm. Got it. Ah, heck, let's put the whole thing in there, all right? Olives. Olives. Huh? Look at that. Freddie, you're, oh, you're an olive lover, aren't you, Freddie? Oh, come on. You know better than that. A little red pepper. I like that, mix that up really good. Some onion. 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 Oh. A little barbecue sauce. Got a little hickory here. Old hickory. Oh, hickory. Old hickory. Just a little bit for flavor. You know, when you come to Iowa, when you come to Iowa, you, you got to use cookies barbecue sauce, don't you? And, and, and our good friend Rod, would you put? Would you, you see the fine gentleman with that, with the uh, the little derby hat, like he's going to the the, the derby, like a sun hat? That's David Lee. David Lee's a personal friend of our good friend Speed, uh, with Cookies Barbecue Sauce. When you come to Iowa, you got to have it. There you go. All right. So without kraut, onions, olives, brown sugar, red pepper, you got to have beer. Got to have beer. <laughs> it's a buffy lox on that one, man. Uh. All right, mix that all up. Look at that. Now, doesn't that irritate you when he does that, Freddie? We're from Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he mixes faster, you know that. <laughs> all right. That's because we're irritated. Swap that down the burgers. <laughs> These ladies are over going, what are those guys doing? And we just have no moving. idea. They're creating that. a mess. But look at that. We're not done He's yet. He's taking it, look at it. He's taking it, all right. You're done now. <laughs> Where's that tab of butter, Meryl? Oh, right here, sir. We need a, you know, we're, we're a little cheese heads. We gotta have a tab of butter. Yeah. There, all right, all right. <laughs> now Everything stand back, with Merle. Butter. Stand back. So in the next segment, we're gonna do some wonderful pork loins. We're gonna cut them into chops, beautiful pork loins into chops. Go to pork.org to learn more about that. That ain't the next segment yet. Hold on, hold on, Freddie. Freddie he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. Well, we gotta get some. Right into we that. gotta get some cabbage going. All right, man. So we got red cabbage and regular green cabbage on top of there. I, I chose to do leeks and peppers. And we're gonna go south of the border. For, we're some. We're from Wisconsin. We're gonna do a little south of the border <laughs> cooking. That's Illinois and Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna put some uh, Chicago style peppers for Illinois and jalapenos for our good friends in Iowa. And we're gonna squeeze a little bit on top of there. I've got some oil. <laughs> I know, I know. And we got dried cilantro. Our lady friend of Parker going, boy, those guys still sure are messy. Yes, but she keeps on watching. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. Woo! Oh, right. Right. I'm ready for one. We'll be right back. Hey, you the Royal right. Pork Expo, Mad Dog in Merrill, Des Moines, Iowa.
Expo in Des Moines, Iowa, and I'll tell you, we are at the State Fairgrounds in Iowa, and we're promoting state fairs. Everybody attend the State Fair of your state this particular year, if you would, please, and have yourself a big old pork sandwich. You got it. Sounds good to me, sir. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? Yeah. Uh, so, a couple of things here, boy. These babies on the griddle are looking just wonderful. We've wow. got the porker, pork burgers, the bratwurst burgers, aren't they? Brat burgers. Yes. Brat burgers, sauerkraut, the cabbage toppings, and and and. It's hard for us to leave home without cheese. Uh, so on top of the, uh, the kraut ones, we have some Swiss cheese. So we're gonna ladle a little Swiss cheese over the top and let that melt. And then we got right. a little cheddar cheese and that goes over the top of our cabbage. Our cabbage is all cooked down. That's looking really, really good. That's gonna go on top of some loin burgers in just a moment or two. But here's the trick what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take our burgers, Merrill, because they've reached about 100 and about 150 degrees. Okay. So, so we don't want to overcook them. Right. So we're going to take our burgers, our brat patties, if you will, and those are going to go right on top of here, and that way we have room to cook our pork loin chops. Makes sense. That's pretty smart. Well, you know, yeah, I learned everything to... I know from Freddie. Well, that's going to keep them warm. <laughs> yep, they were already at 150. We want to go to 160. Is that that's correct, exactly sir? right. That's yep. So, so, so in the world of pork. 42 years ago, we never dreamt of meat thermometers. Right, no, exactly. We really didn't. And, and, and they got archaic, you know, they had the old tailor-made ones. We had the ones that, you know, pork's done at 185 degrees, yep. the old Betty Crocker ones. Uh, we also want to make sure you have a good digitally controlled. Uh, 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 primal cuts like this, the loin, right on top of the grill, it's 145 degrees. Right, exactly. Take it off at 140, tent it a little bit, let it raise to 145 or so. Our burgers, because they're, they're a ground burger and mixed up, it's 160 degrees. Yeah, exactly. If you're doing ribs, if you're doing uh, 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 country style ribs, if you're doing racks of ribs, if you're doing pulled pork, you cook it till it's tender. Right. And, and, then, and then we know it's just all done just properly. So that's the way we do those. Uh, we got the cheese of cooking and melting there. Okay. We got everything that's cooking. We're gonna do some nice little loin chop sandwiches. And these are, are wonderful to do. And I got a start on them here. Oh. Very good. So, so, so the loin goes from the, from, the, from the shoulder to the hips, and the different cuts of the loin, where they exist on that loin, the different cuts are the different types of pork chops you get. When you leave the bone on it, that's the bone pork chop. These are boneless pork chops, we're gonna call them. And then when you, uh, on the other side of that, Mama said never go to the other side of the track, and I wish she would have, because that's where the tenderloin is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God dang you, God man. dang you, Mom, and I ended up with Freddie and Merrill. <laughs> <laughs> and Freddie's been to the tenderloin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how many people don't realize you can do this with a pork loin. They, they just don't think about doing it. It's, it's so if you take the whole loin, make it as gnarly as possible, and slow cook it. One of the best cuts of meat in the world at 145. It's delicious. So here's our spices today. Oh, I forgot to top our little things. I was going to put our DeWorks on there and I was going to put some other stuff on there, but we'll forego that. Okay. Darn it all. That's just live TV. So because we're going south of the border today, uh, we have a little bit of cumin, we have some thyme, uh, chili, lime chili, and time. our up north peppery. And we're going to put those all together. And we're just going to create a nice little dry rub, if you will. Mm, good deal. So we're going to mix that all together. And we're going to do it just that. We're going to do a dry rub with our little loin sandwiches. So a good flavor. Just Still absolutely wonderful. Now, Don't the difference between a seasoning and a rub is this rub is going to seal in the natural juices <laughs> of the por pork. It's going to hold in the flavor. So we do a heavy rub on these. And that comes out wonderful. If I want to add brown sugar. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these on there. my little griddle. I'm gonna put a squirt a little oil on there. I don't think okay. it needs it, but and we'll get these going here. Now Merrill's got something special. I got something special, but I'm gonna make a sauce for something special here, which I love. I like doing sauces all the time. Um, this one here today, obviously we're gonna use the Huvin sauce. <laughs> and I'll put this in there. I'm gonna heat, we're gonna heat this up. And we'll show you later on exactly what we're gonna. Ooh, we'll, we'll show you in just on. a second, ain't we? Little hoisin sauce, ladies hoisin, and gentlemen. Hoisin. 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 <laughs> we got a little spicy. Oh, here it goes, Freddy. Oh. And what brand is that? Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Squirrel and Spicy Barbecue Oh sauce, wow. Man. You got honey in there. Oh boy. Honey. What do you think, Mad Dog? Should I go full bolt on this stuff with the regular the hoisin sauce and the? Uh, 
Melissa's well, mine from home. Okay. <laughs> the honey I got raw honey from a local producer. You okay. can do whatever you want with All the right. honey on there, but don't Little use up my oysters. Look at this thing here. So actually what Merrill's doing, it's Chili kind of a peppers. surprise. At the Wisconsin State <laughs> Fair, and at a lot of the state fairs, they do pork on a stick. So we're doing pork candy. <laughs> and pork candy, by the way, there's bacon and there's side pork, or green pork, they call it green green back, green side. <laughs> but anyway, the side pork is uncured bacon. Side pork is uncured bacon. So you take uncured bacon, and look what Merrill did. He actually smoked it and made it into pork on a stick. And that's beautiful, that's beautiful side pork. You got it. Is that going to work in there? Yeah, it will. We'll drop some of that stuff on top of there. You got it. We'll make it work. We'll make it work, Merrill. That was beautiful. Very good man. That yeah. was the move of the day right, right there. Right there. Watch this. Right there. It's amazing the thing that this man could do with his hands. That's right. Watch this. <laughs> so that's pork candy. Now, the, the real version is you cook the side pork on the grill, you sprinkle brown sugar on it, and it's done. But that wouldn't be the Mad Dog in Maryland. No, no. <laughs> so oh, I think no. what we'll do is we'll put these back on the grill just the way they are, and we're going to let them just candy up that way. How's okay, that? sounds good. Good job, sir. That's I would really think good. so. So our pork loins are cooking away, and I think we can probably get those turned right now. Oh, yeah. The pork loins, once again, we only want to do to 145 degrees. We got a lot of good oil on top of there. We got a lot of great flavor. We got that rub on top of there. So Boy, the key thing in life, ladies good. and gentlemen, is don't overcook your pork. If you would, please, always use a good meat thermometer. Go to pork.org, and many thanks to the good friends at America Pork Producers. And we're gonna wrap, we're gonna come back, we're gonna bun these babies up. Okay. And we're going to do the side pork, and we got some other fun stuff for you. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Don't go away. We're Woo! still here. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are at the World Pork Expo in Des Moines, Iowa, and each and every year, yeah, every year we go to uh, uh, Farm Tech Days in Wisconsin. And then this is a, a, a major, kind of like a Farm Tech Days, but for the pork people, the pork associations, it's called the World Pork Expo. It's everything about raising uh, beautiful pigs and hogs and harvesting them and all the cuts of meat that are involved. So go to porkorg.org. Pork? Org. Or, I said, did you know that in, in German it's oink oink? In, nor nor in Dutch. It's oink, it's a wheat wheat in Polish and nurf, nurf in Swedish. And that's how a grunt sounds to them. <laughs> I know, it's to us it's yeah, So, okay, well, Mero's right. got his pork candy. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at that, really gorgeous, gorgeous, good gorgeous stuff. pork candy. Good stuff. Side pork over here, we're ready to bun up. I took our temperature of all our beautiful pork loins. The, everything is all ready, the brats over here. I just got small buns, I don't know how I ended up with small buns. Well. What the heck? Oh. And you know, the star of the show is always on top. That's the pork. <laughs> so we're going to bun that baby up just like that. That's one big one there. We'll grab That'd another one right here. That is a oh. big one. Holy cow with that cheese. Good job, sir. Look at that. Let's work on a couple of the nice loins. Okay. Yeah, we got that cabbage. Good. That cooked cabbage is just delicious. A little south of the border action going. These are little pretzel buns. Pork's always on top. That's the star of the show. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. We're going to need something to eat those babies, ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> those are looking delicious. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what. My, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Get yourself a great meat thermometer and sit back, relax. Don't be afraid of doing things on the grill. Whether you have a nice pellet grill, whether it's a, 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 a ceramic oh, grill, yeah. gas grill, upright smoker, it doesn't make a difference. Cuts of pork are so easy to do on the grill, so economical to do on the grill, and they turn out just wonderful each and every time. You got well, it, we saw sir. so many different things here today, but I think they learned something new today because I've never seen any <laughs> pork sandwich of any Play kind. Play us out of here, Freddie. Yeah. Happy grilling, everybody. Right. Take care.
the World Park Expo, Mad Dog Maryland, Fast Freddy on the keyboards. Tell we meet again, folks. Right, man. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.